introduce you to some very special people. Please, make some noise for the parents and teachers of Hawaii some festivities. Um, this show is about the kids. It's about the empowerment of children through music. And tonight is the final performance also of Team Acoustic. I have to say, I have to say, against the screaming hall of noise, stay true to the story and kept it going. So professional. So, can you all give your names for the final time and take a bow? Uh, 
early, it was back in 2006, I think, that my wife Madeline um, said there's a movie you've got to watch, which I've just seen with the kids called School of Rock. And she showed it to me, and I thought, yes, this is fantastic because, uh, as you just said, it's all about the empowerment of children through music. And it's a cause that I think is absolutely vital, something that I really believe in. I think that music is a right for every child, and it should be featuring in our schools, and sadly, in too many schools. <laughs> joy with this. Uh, it took us some while to get the rights. Uh, Madeline had to go to Paramount Pictures and she doggedly went on with them. And then finally she got the rights and she had a meeting with one of the senior pro pro producers there, congratulated her on producing a movie of her name is Rabla. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, she didn't say anything and we got the rights. So, yeah. <laughs> Awkward situation. I think the guy's secretary knew all about it, but never mind. Um, anyway, what a joy it is. I think we've had 184 kids in our company. I think. Which is very quickly extraordinary. And there's one thing I'm going to take issue about. This certainly won't be the last time it's in the West End. Um, I'm, I'm sure we will come back at some point. But just before we go on, I've got something for you, Lawrence. Lawrence has been our fantastic director, has stayed with him all over the world. And I have to thank you, and we have just a very small token for you tonight. So it's all yours, Lawrence, and we want a solo as well, please. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, oh wow, well, I wasn't expecting that at all. And uh, that's going to make. Actually, can somebody please hold me for a second? I won't be able to read my notes. Um, uh, I just want to say what an honor it has been to uh, be part of the creation of this, this show. We, it was, you know, I, I, ironically, if you remember, it was when we were in, we were in Spain. Yeah. And I, we were having dinner and talking about something completely, and we were talking about Jesus Christ Superstar. That's right. And we, we started talking about School of Rock, and we just talked about how great a piece it would be to do. And then within, within a year from that, we were sort of sitting around a table, and suddenly it was happening. And, you know, Madeline, had, we have so much to thank you for, for making that happen, because um, it Woo! was always something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible people who were part of this incredible journey. Julian Fellows, who unfortunately isn't here tonight, he's doing a movie or something like that. He's so famous. Um, Glenn Slater, who wrote the lyrics to this incredible piece, um, who also got here, and to the wonderful uh, Joanne Hunter, who uh, did all the choreography um, with, the, with the great help of her sort of associates, Caroline Meadows and Billy Mitchell. I mean, you know, they're just incredible people. Um, obviously, Anna Louise did uh, this incredible set. Uh, she's American, so she's not here. Um, <laughs> Natasha Katz, who's also American and is not here. Um, Nick Potter, who did the wonderful sound design, um, which, you know, it's just, it, you can't imagine just how difficult it is to, to create the sound for a show like this, where you've got an incredible orchestra sort of up there. <laughs> And uh, tonight, of course, conducted brilliantly by Steve Ridley. But to be able to put the sound onto that and then have the sound sound like it's coming from here when the children are playing is quite extraordinary. There's been also a lot of people who have like, really helped in the show um, that you just will never get. They're sort of the unsung heroes of our show. For example, we have a rock coach who teaches our children how to play those instruments, and that's Adam Smith, who is <laughs> Because uh, I mean, I'd love to be here every night, but I just can't be. Um, and we fortunately have Chris Key, who was our associate director, <laughs> and Bradshaw, who's been the resident director on this. We've got, you know, Mark Hilton and Nick Greenshields, who actually is not a director anymore. He's sort of playing Javert for me somewhere else. But <laughs> that's another story. Um, this casting, the casting of this show by David Grinrod has been just incredible, and Jessica Ronan has been putting brilliant children together. Oh, God, so many people. Uh, our Fiona McDougall for the incredible um, vocal coaching that she's done. <laughs> Production manager Richard Pullimore as well, and Sarah Lee, um, who's our company manager, who's just been incredible. 
Uh, I want to, I promise you, I'm almost done. There's just so many people. Um, I just want to talk, I just want to say as well, as part of my incredible stage management team that we have here, you know, all the heads of departments that we have in our roof department, our wardrobe department, the sound department, it's, it, honestly, it's such a machine. If you, if you could really see the workings of it, you wouldn't believe it. Um, and just a special thanks to Rory Neil McKenzie and James Trier. Uh, Jessica Koravos and Tim Lees for the really useful group for the uh, incredible production. Ed and Ben Wilson, who I think we And everybody else for being involved from Clark, who's just been just extraordinary in all the, the running and picking up phones and doing everything they have to do. <laughs> now, as, as Andrew sort of said, you know, the, hopefully the show will come back to the West End at some point, but what we can tell you is that it will be touring. Um, in the next year, and it'll be parking from, from Birmingham in 2021. So if you're anywhere near there or anywhere else around the country, look out for it and please support the show as you have been so wonderfully over the last three and a half years here. Um, I just want to thank parents. Yes, thank you, parents. Alive. And as I just said, this show has empowered so many children. It's a line that Dewey Finn says in the show, which is, since they picked up these instruments, we've seen them grow. And I can tell you the truth that truth in that line is incredible. We've seen these kids grow. Anyway, um, I could go on forever about how great the kids are. <laughs>